Welcome back to Up North at Four. I am Saul Meyer. That is Agnes Cozina. And we are joined here by Antigo's starting quarterback, Colton Tomei. Colton, let's jump right into it. It's the Bell game, one of the oldest rivalries in the state, the oldest rivalry in the Northwoods. What does it mean to play this year last year here? I mean, it's huge, especially since the Bell is already maroon. Goal is to keep it that way. And everybody up north knows about the Bell game, and it's the biggest one around here. So looking to win it again. Absolutely. And, you know, talking about winning it again, you guys have already won it the past two years. What do you think it's going to take to win it a third straight year to keep the bell here in Antigo? Just come out, play our game. We know we have the chance to win and we know we have what team we have and we know we have the best chance to win tonight. Absolutely. What and for tonight's uh, game, what are you looking forward to the most? Just keeping it one more year. Last year, I mean, nothing gets better in senior year. That's the one you're going to remember the most. So. Right. What do you hope to accomplish this last, you know, senior year football season? Make the playoffs again and then hopefully make a run once we get there. Absolutely. And you guys have had kind of a strong start to the season. You beat Pines. I believe you beat Sturgeon Bay, too. A good, you know, good start to the season. And now once conference plays come in, the competition's gotten up a little bit. You guys are coming off of a loss. How do you expect to bounce back from that loss against a tough Rhinelander team? Well, last week, I think we just got our heads caught up. It was homecoming for us. I think we looked a little too ahead to this week, but we know that last week's in the past. Can't change that. We just got to focus on tonight. Absolutely. And before the season started, I asked you, what is the culture like here in Antigo? And you said, we've always been running the ball, old school tradition, but I want a culture change. I want to throw the ball more. And of the games I've seen you guys play, that's exactly what happened. Do you think there's a culture change here in Antigo and you guys are airing it out more? I would say so, yes. And how does it feel to be the guy to, to help lead the charge in that and start throwing the ball more? Well, it feels good considering Coach Schofield, his grandpa, came here, started the run game, and I know that he gave a lot of trust in me and to be able to switch the offense, so it means a lot. Absolutely. What do you got, Agnes? And how does it feel? So you've been a quarterback for how long now? Since seventh grade. Yeah, that's a lot of years. So how does it feel to have stayed in that position for that many years? I mean, it's a tough position right. mentally, physically, but I know – I got those 10 guys in the huddle that are counting on me to make, do my job, and I know that I can do it for them. Absolutely. And let's talk about the Bell game. You got a tough Rhinelander team. It's a team you're no stranger to, though. What can we expect from tonight's matchup? It's going to be a hard-nosed game like usual. I mean, helmets flying, hard hits, but that's just the way we play ball in the Northwoods around here. Absolutely. And, you know, you guys have a fun, you know, a tough ending to the regular season also. I believe you still have Mosin E on the record. You know, what can we expect from you guys ending the regular season with only about a month and a half left? Well, it starts tonight. We get the win tonight. We're feeling good the next three weeks and we got to win at least three more to clinch our spot in the playoffs. And that's what, that's our goal is to get there, make some noise. Absolutely. What do you got, Agnes? All right. Well, we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to tonight's game. Absolutely, yeah. It should be a fun game, and you kind of kind of breaking down all the history that has to go with this game. You know, 1903 is is when this Bell game is. This is a hundred third meeting. This is just a massive deal. What does it mean to be a part of something with so much history and tradition? I mean, there's been a lot of great games, players, teams before us, and it just feels amazing to be able to step out on this field and fill, fill, try and fill those shoes. Absolutely. Thanks, Colton. Coming up after the break, we've talked a lot about the history of the Bell game, but you'll hear from our Northwoods historian, Carrie Bladorn, on what it means to be a part of such a rich game like this.